Hey loves, it's your resident queerdo Arbear here and I'm back and I have to tell you it's been a long time because, let's face it, this has been a lull for doll collectors but oh my god, are they just flooding us now pre-Christmas and I got such a great one that I really wanted. So today at Target, I did, it's on Amazon it said January but I got the Barbie Extra. I only got one, but I got two of her. So I got, I have two. Um, I was very nice and I left the other two on the shelf for somebody else. But, oh my God, Barbie Extra, Barbie Extra today. <laughs> so, uh... This doll is awesome. Look at her face. She is gorgeous. I love her face. I love her face. We're gonna look at it real close. The jacket, this box is super fun. On the back, there's lots of really cool artwork. I really want her for her jacket. Really, really, really want her. I don't know if I want her. I really want her hat, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy the whole thing just for the hat, but. Ah, wow, she was the one I wanted the most. And I got two of her, so I'm not complaining. Crack her open. Let's see what she looks like inside. So, guys, today was a very exciting day for me because I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. And, you know, since this pandemic happened, I really haven't been getting anything in the mail because nothing is coming out. But I got something I was waiting for for a very long time from three zero toys which i'm going to show you hopefully i'll make a review tonight and i'll share that up here asap this packaging is not fun to open um but oh wow okay <laughs> these are those moments where you see all the ways that this thing is attached into this package and you're like first of all it opens up like this so but then you see all of the, these tabs, and you're like, maybe I'll leave her in the box. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I don't want to open all these tabs. But we'll open them. We're going to open them because that's what we do as collectors. That's what we do. And we do it happily. I can feel her hair, and it feels nice. Um, I'm going to destroy this box. Oh, my God. Um, I'm just so excited because when I saw her, the first pictures of her, I was like, I want like six of her. And for me to buy two, I think it's pretty impressive. Because again, I'm not a two kind of girl, you know, I like to buy a lot of one doll. Um, let's break her out of this plastic, these plastic manacles here. Garlicles. And see what she looks like. I'm not exactly going to be, um, how can I say it, soft with her. I'm not really, you know, a soft unboxer. Some of my friends get really <laughs> nervous when they see me open dolls because I'm so rough with them. But I haven't had a problem yet, knock on wood. So I'm not expecting it to happen now. Okay. Oh, girl, you're pretty. Ah, okay, so there's a lot to talk about. Um, she comes with a pet. <laughs> you know I really don't care about pets. I have my dog, and I don't really need my dolls to have one. I have one dog that looks like my actual dog in my collection. But these little frou-frou dogs um, and these pets that come with um, the extras... Um, she comes with this little poodle who wears sunglasses, and he's cute and everything, but to be honest with you, this does nothing for me. He comes with a little purse with some treats, and these treats are so tiny that my giant bear hands are never going to get them out of the box. So I'm going to leave these. These will go to my nieces who love the pets. Get rid of that. And we're going to come back and look at... My beautiful girl, in just a second. <laughs> she is out of the package, and look at that face. 
Look at the face. She's so pretty. She's one of the few faces that I have fallen in love with. You know, I really thought I was going to love that Mattel anniversary doll, but the side eye was really bothering me. And this girl is giving me life with the hair and the gold eye makeup. Look at the gold eye makeup. It is so pretty. Her face is gorgeous. She's got on earrings. We've seen those earrings before on other fashionistas. I was hoping for something something different maybe but you know we've seen those already on the bald girl and a few others and and it's you know the earrings i can live with because the face is beautiful and you know i always say this but the face is always number one on my priority list always barbie is never going to be a company that kills me with clothes although i do love this jacket I usually don't love clothes from Barbie, but this is gorgeous. Look at the coat. Look at the coat. Give me my colored coat. My amazing colored coat. Oh my God. She's like Barbie in the amazing Technicolor dream coat. And when we take off, I love these braids that are sewed into her coat for some. Are they really sewed onto the? Oh my goodness. Okay, why are we doing this, Barbie? Why are we sewing the braids? And if you know me, you know I'm not happy about this. They're actually sewn into the coat. Do they think we're not gonna play with them? And of course, today is the one day I don't bring my scissor with me. Let me see if I can get a scissor real quick so we can get her out of this coat. This is so ridiculous. Way too much effort for a doll. Okay. Now, is she sewn onto the coat too? My goodness. Okay, here we go. So here's our girl. And I have to tell you, the coat is really well made. It has a good lining on the inside. I like the I like the lining. It's actually lined. And this is, it goes all the way around. It's not on one side. And I really want to see if this will fit in one of my Kens because this is begging to go on one of my Kens. I love this big fluffy coat. So cute, so cute. But really the star of the show is my girl here. I love her skinny little um, figure here. Um, the outfit's cute, and I love that it's not over-branded like those BMRs. Oh, my goodness. But I really like, you know, it's not a made-to-move body, it's so, but it is an articulated body. Praise the universe there. We have our wrist we don't have, you know, chest pivot at all, but we do have movable shoulders, not double jointed elbows, but we'll live. We have double jointed knees, no, single jointed knees, but again, okay. And we have the shoes from the uh, bold fashionista, which I always loved. I said I loved them. Painted silver with some glitter on them. You know, this doll was $24.99, guys. And I know that probably most of this budget went to um, the clothes. Um, because none of it went to accessories with this cheap garbage on her. This is really cheap looking. I mean, really bad. The earrings, I don't mind. I like the earrings. But my God, Barbie, come on. This is the cheapest looking thing I've ever seen. Look at this. This is ugly. Barbie, why can't you make nice jewelry or nicer jewelry? This is not cutting it. But again, full articulation, beautiful face. Um, for $24.99, I think they should have given her a made-to-move body. I don't think it costs that much more for Barbie to give us a made-to-move body over an articulated body. I mean, it's only a couple of joints. Does it really make that big a difference? I don't think so. 
I really don't. But she's gorgeous. I love her. There's nothing I'm going to say about her face that I don't like. I love her face so much. I love her hair. You know I love an Afro puff. You know that for sure. My favorite. I love these tendrils coming down the front. I think they're adorable. This outfit is adorable. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Back Velcro, not the greatest, but again, don't bother me. Real socks. These are not um, modeled onto the shoe. They are actual socks. You know I love that. Yeah, Barbie. Let's make more of these instead of those no-move fashionistas. I would really pay, you know, more money for uh, an articulated girl than I would for the um, very stiff fashionistas. Barbie, just give us a fashionista that can move. Because that's so much more fun to play with and to pose and to have a good time. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Throw on the jacket. And she is ready to go out. I'm, I'm, I'm giving her really the full geesh when it comes to good reviews. I like everything about her. These um, shine bright sneak uh, sunglasses here, um, I'm not a big fan of. Um, they're a little bit much for me. And I'm very much, just saying, um, if you haven't guessed yet, I'm very much. But those are not my favorite sunglasses so far. Um, but hey, they'll go into my sunglass bin and someone will wear them one day. I don't think she will, though. She's too pretty, just the way she is like this. I'm in love. This is a good one. Get her. $24.99. I got her on sale at Target for 25% off. So I bought two, and I, the nice, nice cashier gave me two 25% um, discounts. She also comes with this little um, purse. It doesn't open. It's useless for me. I'm not really a big fan of these things. And she comes with a ring, but I can't find the ring. I think I I think I already lost the ring, guys. Um, it's a big diamond. Um, and to be honest with you, I was not a big fan of it, so I'm not going to cry that I lost it. All right, last thoughts in a sec. I apologize for not being around as much lately. I've been you know, kind of in my feels living alone um, during this pandemic, but I'm back and I have a lot to show you and I'm very excited to show it to you. Um, I hope you're all doing okay in pandemic and I just want to really say it's okay not to be okay. A lot of people are not saying that, but I think it's important that we realize that if you're not okay, that's okay too. You know, and I think that we all have to deal with this situation the best way we can and no matter how we deal with it we just have to be there for each other and know that i'm here for you please um follow me on instagram at my conundrum and say hi you know i was off my, um instagram too for a while to be honest with you um because i just needed to breathe and to if i'm not a hundred percent i can't be here i want to be a hundred percent or nothing and i want to be all of the positivity that you need in the YouTube host, and I want to be all of the happiness that you need. So if I'm not feeling, you know, 100%, I just stay on my own until I do feel 100%, and then I am here sending you love and reminders of how beautiful you are exactly as you are. I hope you enjoyed this review of Barbie Extra. She is so gorgeous. I mean, just so pretty and worth $24.99. Yes, definitely. Um, I bought two because I liked her so much. One I'll keep in the package for the foreseeable future. Um, but this one will be up in my collection, gracing my collection, because I love her. I do. I love her. I love her. I love her. 
If you enjoyed this video, guys, please like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at my conundrum. Come say hi on a live one day. You know, tell me what you think of our special beautiful girl here. She's so pretty, isn't she? And remember that you are absolutely perfect and absolutely beautiful. Exactly the way you are. And as I said before, if you're not okay, it's okay to not be okay. But realize that you're not alone because you have a Dollstagram family out there who wants to share your love of dolls with you all the time. Until I see you again really, really soon, my beautiful, beautiful, shiny, happy people, doll collectors everywhere, unite.